Example 7, commission, find the commission rate. A realtor makes a commission of $4,400 on an $110,000 house she sells. What is her commission rate? Please press pause, give yourself four or five minutes, and try and do this on your own. Um, and by all means, write the question out if you need to. Okay? And then check the video. So press pause in the video, give yourself four or five minutes, do, do your best, and then check the video. Okay? Okay, I'm go I hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it now. We want to find the commission rate. So I guess we're trying to figure out what percentage, right? What percent of this is this? Does that make sense? What percent of 110,000 is 4,400. Isn't that what we're trying to figure out? Or you could say 4,400 is what percent of uh, 110,000, whichever way you want to do it. But uh, so there, there's a couple of other ways that are of doing it. There is also many wrong ways of doing it, but there are at least two or three right ways of doing it. This is the way we've been doing it mostly. You start with the what percent, I guess. So please press pause and turn this into an equation, a math equation. Press pause and turn it into a math equation. Okay, I'll do it now. What percent, I usually like to write P, of multiplied by 110,000, so it's P times that, right, is equals 4,400, okay? So to get P by itself, I divide by 110,000, and these guys cross cancel, but I must divide this side also by 110,000, okay? So we get P on the left, and all I have to do now, haha, is turn this into a percentage. How are you going to turn this into a percentage? Well, it's a fraction right now. Don't we have to simplify the fraction, maybe? Let's start with simplifying the fraction. Okay. Now let's see. I'll leave that there. Sorry. Okay, now. So we have 4,400 over 110,000. Can't we cross some zeros off? by dividing by top and bottom by 10. So at least I have um, 44 over 1100. Zero, zero. So there's a start. What can d you divide by now? Well, this is an even number on the bottom. And we've got 44 on the top. You can divide the top and bottom by 2. I'm going to guess that 4 goes into top and bottom as well. So look, 4 into that goes once, 4 into that goes once. 4 into 11 goes uh, twice, remainder 3. 4 into 30 goes 7 times, remainder 2. 4 into 20 goes um, 5 times. So I get 11 over 2, 7, 5. Now, 11, you can't see, it's almost impossible to see whether 11 goes into this or not. But, I know this is a factor of 5. So, this is 5 times what? 5 times what gives 275? I'm asking you to factorize 275, okay? 5 times what gives 27? 5 times 5, remainder 2, and then 5 into 25 is 5. So this is, basically, I'm just trying to show you, I have 11 over 5 times 55. Now, can you factorize the 55? What's 55? 55 is 5 times what? 11, right? And this guy comes down. So what I have is 5 times 5 times 11. 
So when I factor the 275, I mean, I've just broken it down a lot. When I factor 275, I get 5 times 5 times 11. You see that? And now, can you cross cancel something now? You can cross cancel common factors. When you have things being multiplied on the top or bottom of a fraction, you can cross cancel. 11 into 11 goes once. 11 into 11 goes once. So this gives me 1 over 5 times 5 times 1, 25. Okay? 1 over 25. So I end up with uh, P equals 1 over 25. Now I still want to turn that into a percentage rate. <coughs> so I guess I need to do a long division, right? I need to go 25 into 1 to calculate that as a percentage, right? So, of course, I need, I'll stick on a couple of zeros. What's 25 into 1? What's 25 into 10? What's 25 into 100? Well, it's 4 times, right? 4 times 25 is 100. Subtract, and remainder 0. <coughs> now, where does the decimal point go? goes up here. And it was kind of like 25 into 1 goes 0 times, put up the decimal point. 25 into 10 goes 0 times. See that? 25 into 100 goes 4 times. So the answer is 0 0.04. And what is that as a, so this is, I have now have P in the form of a decimal. Calculate P as a, what's that as a percentage? 0 0.04. As a percentage, that is what? Now remember, 0 0.04, of course, is 4 tenths or 4 hundredths. 4 hundredths, right? 4 per hundred or four per cent, right? Or you could just take this decimal point, move it one, two spaces to the right, and now call this four per cent. So that's the answer, four percent, right? And one other thing I wanna show you, a little trick, is when we were at that stage with a one over, when P was one over 25, okay? Instead of doing the long division, we could have done this. I just want to show you this so you've seen it. You don't have to use this if you don't want to. But 1 over 25, if I want to turn that in, if I turn that into an equivalent fraction with 100 on the bottom, 25 times what gives 100? 25 times what gives 100? 25 times 4, right? But if I multiply the bottom by 4, I must multiply the top by 4. Now 1 times 4 is 4. So 1 over 25 is equivalent to 4 over 100. And 4 hundredths is 4 per hundred or 4 percent. So that's another way of doing it. Yeah, anyway, just, just to show you that. But either way, if you get 4 percent, you're correct. So it doesn't matter which way you do it. But I just wanted to show as many things as possible so we can understand as much math as possible.